In Esther chapter 2, we're introduced to two of our main characters in this intriguing, captivating story of God's sovereign and almost invisible hand of providence upon his people, the nation of Israel. Now, I say invisible because the book of Esther is one of the books in the Bible, in fact, one of the only books in the entire Bible that the name of God, it's never mentioned. However, you can see the hand of God working all throughout this book. And that's what we see in chapter two today. You know, it's been nearly four years since the king had banished the queen in chapter one, and we see God placing Esther now as the queen and her uncle, Mordecai, who raised her and had been serving at the king's gate. Well, in this chapter, he discovers and foils an assassination plan against the king. And these two stories, they will eventually play out to be both important and pivotal moments that set the stage for the people of Israel to be rescued from an attempt from within the kingdom to annihilate the people of Israel. You see, God is working. Even though Esther and Mordecai may not recognize him moving, nor be able to explain what he's doing, God is moving. See, the story of Esther reminds us that even when we can't see God's hand at work, he's orchestrating events behind the scenes to fulfill his purposes. You know, we often, all of us, face circumstances that may seem random or chaotic. It can leave us to wonder if God is present or what he's doing. But the story of Esther encourages us to trust that God is working, even when things are uncertain or challenging. Just as he worked in Esther's life, he's also at work in your life today. Now, as you read through this chapter today, I want you to consider that reality that God's invisible but providential hand was at work and be encouraged and refreshed that he's working in our lives. He's setting the stage in our lives for his glory and our good. It's just as the Apostle Paul says in Romans chapter 8, we know that God causes everything to work together for good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them.